In this video, you will learn how to use the BPMN Modeler Enterprise for Confluence to design and analyze process models. We will start by adding BPMN elements in various ways. I'm going to show you how to make changes to multiple elements in one go. At the end, I'm going to tell you about the most important buttons and their underlying functionalities. We will start with this page. I already started editing it and will now add a BPMN diagram. I click the plus button and pick BPMN Modeler. Of course, in order to do this, you need to have the BPMN Modeler for Confluence installed in your wiki. The diagram needs a name. I save the wiki page. Now, my wiki page contains an almost empty diagram. I click this edit button to open the editor. We start with a white piece of paper, almost. For convenience, there is this start event. At first, I will add an activity. One way of adding elements is to drag and drop them from the sidebar. Then I can label the activity. In order to connect the start event to my activity, I click the start event, select the sequence flow, which is represented by the arrow, and draw the connection. If you want to put an element in between two nodes, you can just drop it onto the sequence flow. You can fine-tune process model elements by clicking on them and then select the wrench symbol. For example, I can turn this generic activity into a user task. Instead of dragging and dropping elements from the sidebar onto the modeling canvas and subsequently adding the associations, you can also do this in one step. When you click an element, there will be a bunch of options how to continue. Let me choose this gateway. And of course, I can configure the gateway and pick a specific gateway type. For now, I'm good with my parallel split gateway. Sometimes you might want to make room within the process diagram for more elements to add. This is when the space tool comes in very handy. Every element move to the right a bit, please. It also works the other way around. You might as well reduce space between elements. Another way of moving multiple process nodes is the lasso tool. Select all desired elements and drag them to the destination afterwards. I'm quite sure your business processes are way more complex than this one. Maybe this is just a little part of the big picture and this part should be structured in pools and swim lanes. Pools in BPMN depict process participants, whereas lanes subdivide pools to give them a structure. A pool could be a car company, for instance, and lanes could be departments of this company. So, that one took me a while, but it's just to show you what's possible. There are more buttons we haven't talked about yet. Here is Redo and Undo. I would change something here. If this was a mistake, I could always undo it. Or redo it, in case I did want it. If I did a couple of mistakes, I could always get back to the last save point. For this purpose, we added the Reset button. These buttons over here are for the love of symmetry and clarity and help you align all elements. Let me mix it up just a little. I select those three that I want to align. Back in rank and file. Here's zooming. Almost everything is available as a keyboard shortcut as well. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions concerning our BPMN Modeler Enterprise, feel free to ask.